technically you cannot go faster than the speed of light, uh, but, but space can travel faster than the speed of light. Since the Cold War, NASA has pushed the boundaries of human exploration, unveiling the secrets of our cosmos, one mission at a time. But today, NASA, the pioneers of space exploration, has just dropped a bombshell, an astounding announcement that defies the laws of physics as we know them. They've created something so mind-bogglingly revolutionary that it can do the unimaginable. In this exclusive video, we'll uncover the top secret technology, the cutting edge breakthroughs, and the incredible science behind this mind-bending achievement. But how did NASA manage to conquer the cosmic speed limit? And what does this mean for the future of space exploration? Join us as we unravel how NASA just created something so advanced that it can reach light speed. The speed of light. Phenomena. Light speed, as the name implies, is the incredible pace at which light zips through the emptiness of space. Imagine this, it rockets along at about 671 million miles per hour, a mind-boggling speed that's tough to fathom. This velocity is unparalleled in the universe, making it the ultimate speed limit, an unchanging constant of nature. Now in the realm of physics, only certain types of waves like light, radio waves and gamma rays can match this blazing speed in a vacuum. These waves are peculiar called massless particles because they lack any resting mass. This uniqueness grants them the power to soar at light speed, effortlessly traversing the vacuum of space without resistance or obstacles. On the flip side, particles with rest mass, think protons, electrons, and atoms, no matter how much you push them, can never outpace light. They're forever destined to lag, a cosmic tortoise to light's unrelenting hair. Interestingly, scientists often use light speed as a benchmark for other velocities in the cosmos. For instance, when gauging how fast an object cruises through space, they measure its speed relative to this cosmic champion. It's a bit like comparing a snail's pace to a supersonic jet. Light speed, the cosmic speed limit, reigns as the absolute maximum pace at which anything, be it energy, matter, or information, can journey across the vast expanse of the universe. It's a bedrock principle of nature. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, as an object hurtles towards light speed, an intriguing transformation unfolds. Its mass swells, demanding an unattainable infinite amount of energy to nudge it to the luminous frontier. This enigmatic effect renders it nigh impossible for any object, no matter how advanced, to breach the light speed barrier. Even the Parker Solar Probe, Earth's swiftest man-made spacecraft which embarked on its solar odyssey in 2018, can't hope to venture that far into the cosmic realms. This is the cosmic speed limit, an insurmountable frontier that daunts even the most daring of human endeavors. The Study of Solar Wind In 2018, NASA introduced the groundbreaking Parker Solar Probe, a mission dedicated to unraveling some of the sun's most profound mysteries. This audacious probe was crafted to venture into the sun's outer realm, known as the corona, to shed light on perplexing solar enigmas. The probe's primary mission was to scrutinize the solar wind, a ceaseless torrent of charged particles flowing from the sun. This solar exhalation profoundly influences the behavior of planets and celestial bodies in our solar neighborhood. To achieve this, the Parker Solar Probe was meticulously equipped with cutting-edge technology, including solar sails, antimatter propulsion systems, and iron boosters, all designed to propel it at remarkable speeds. Despite multiple efforts, the probe reached a staggering velocity of 430,000 miles per hour, but fell short of its intended goal to venture within 4 million miles of the sun's fiery surface. Its valiant efforts, however, paved the way for the birth of the New Horizon spacecraft, which would continue the quest to understand the heart of our radiant star. Development of NASA's spacecraft NASA's quest for faster space travel has been a journey of innovation and exploration. In the past, they've crafted spacecraft like the Parker Solar Probe and the New Horizon spacecraft, achieving impressive speeds within our solar system. 
These cosmic speedsters harnessed the gravitational slingshot effect, swinging close to planets to catapult them to higher velocities. In parallel, NASA has delved into the realm of propulsion technologies to push the boundaries of space travel. Concepts like ion thrusters, solar sails that ride on sunlight, and antimatter propulsion systems have been in the spotlight. Yet they fall far short of the dreamy speed of light. Even if we cracked that cosmic barrier, it would remain inhospitable for humans or any life-form travel. The quest doesn't stop there. NASA has also explored theoretical physics and cosmology, pondering the potential for wormholes or other shortcuts through the fabric of space-time. These tantalizing ideas remain in the realm of theory, yet to be proven as viable avenues for faster-than-light journeys. In essence, NASA's pursuit of speed knows no bounds, spanning from ingenious spacecraft maneuvers to cutting-edge propulsion technologies and even theoretical concepts that hint at the potential for greater cosmic velocity. The quest for faster travel among the stars continues to drive scientific exploration and innovation. In recent years, NASA has embarked on a daring exploration of spacecraft design, delving into the realm of propulsion systems that could potentially outpace the speed of light. This ambitious quest defies the conventional understanding of physics, aiming to achieve what was once deemed impossible. The focus lies in pioneering new ways to propel spacecraft by challenging the very fabric of space-time. One visionary approach gaining traction involves bending and warping space-time, presenting an alternative to the traditional notion of boosting kinetic energy. Dr. Harold Sonny White proposed this groundbreaking concept in 2012 during a presentation to NASA. Inspired by this vision, NASA established the Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory, also known as the Eagle Works Laboratories, nestled within the Johnson Space Center. This specialized research facility dedicates itself to the advancement of propulsion technologies, pushing the boundaries of space travel. Their relentless pursuit encompasses developing propulsion systems that could potentially catapult humanity into a realm of travel faster than the speed of light. The eagerness to unravel these cosmic mysteries fuels NASA's scientific ingenuity. The Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory is a hub of scientific exploration that delves into a diverse range of subjects. Among its pursuits are studies on the fascinating behavior of matter and energy when subjected to extreme conditions. It was here that researchers unraveled the mysteries of the universe in ways that push the boundaries of our understanding. One of their prominent areas of investigation is the rigorous testing of advanced propulsion systems. This entails putting cutting-edge technologies to the test, paving the way for faster and more efficient space travel. Additionally, the laboratory is at the forefront of developing novel technologies for space exploration. These innovations hold the promise of transforming the way we explore and navigate the cosmos, potentially enabling humanity to reach new frontiers. Beyond this, the lab delves into theoretical physics, including the tantalizing concept of wormholes and space-time shortcuts. Dr. Harold White and his team lead the charge in exploring the feasibility of these groundbreaking ideas. While their research might not yield immediate practical applications, it's invaluable in addressing questions previously unconsidered by scientists. In essence, the Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory's overarching goal is to propel human exploration of the solar system forward in the coming half-century, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the realm of space exploration. Initially, the dream of faster-than-light travel seemed impossibly distant, with energy requirements soaring to a billion times the total energy content of the universe. However, the relentless pursuit of scientists has significantly trimmed this energy demand. First, it was reduced to merely a few times the energy of the Sun, and now it hovers around the mass of Jupiter. Dr. Harold White presented a visionary concept to NASA, a warp drive capable of bridging the gap to the Alpha Centauri star system in a matter of weeks, at a cost akin to buying a car. NASA greenlit this audacious endeavor and provided space at the Johnson Space Center, giving birth to the Eagle Works Laboratories. Within these laboratories, three pivotal projects are underway. They involve validating the existence of a time warp field, leveraging quantum particles in a vacuum for thrust generation, and testing various resonant cavity thrusters. 
Though promising breakthroughs have emerged, the road to the stars demands more research. To measure the minute shifts in space-time essential for this groundbreaking technology, the lab swiftly constructed the White Dude, a warp field interferometer. While positive results tantalize scientists, the challenge lies in scaling up this technology to propel a spacecraft into the cosmic fast lane. Dr. Harold White's visionary concepts extended to a remarkable rendering of a spacecraft, the IXS Enterprise. This innovative design featured wings capable of generating the elusive warp bubble, a key to faster-than-light travel. Dr. White's groundbreaking work laid the foundation for future scientists, offering a glimmer of hope for NASA to one day craft an aircraft that could attain the speed of light. Continuing the quest for cosmic swiftness, NASA engineer David Burns stepped onto the stage. He proposed a novel engine concept that defied conventional propulsion methods. Burns' idea centered around the electromagnetic drive, or EM drive, a propulsion system that promised to propel spacecraft to the speed of light without relying on traditional propellants. With a torch passed from Dr. White to David Burns, the journey toward the stars continued. The Electromagnetic Drive The EM Drive, short for Electromagnetic Drive, is a revolutionary propulsion system that promises to defy conventional wisdom by generating thrust without relying on any external fuel source. The concept, initially proposed by Roger Scheuer in 2001, hinges on harnessing the power of microwaves to propel a spacecraft forward. Dubbed the impossible drive by the media, the EM drive appeared to challenge fundamental principles like the law of conservation of momentum. Recent scientific studies, however, have started to unveil the mysterious workings of the EM drive, demonstrating its ability to create thrust albeit with the underlying mechanism still shrouded in mystery. Building upon this enigmatic technology, David Burns has introduced his innovative helical engine. This advanced propulsion system utilizes cutting-edge particle accelerators, akin to those employed in the Large Hadron Collider, and capitalizes on the intriguing concept of how mass evolves at the speed of light. Burns' helical engine, also referred to as the engine of light, holds the potential to achieve astonishing speeds, reaching up to 297 million meters per second. In a paper published on NASA's website, David Burns employed a clever metaphor involving a weight inside a box tethered by springs at each end to elucidate his visionary concept. This metaphor, similar to a cosmic yo-yo, became the cornerstone of his helical engine. The potential of this engine to transform space travel looms large, promising to slash interplanetary and intergalactic travel times to mere fractions of the current duration. Beyond the realms of time-saving, the helical engine may herald a new era of space travel efficiency. Its utilization could curtail the colossal fuel requirements that have long constrained missions and bolster the overall effectiveness of cosmic exploration. This groundbreaking technology has gripped the attention of scientists and engineers worldwide, the prospect of its development holds immense promise for the future of space travel, igniting excitement in the hearts of space enthusiasts. At its core, the helical engine taps into the immense power of particle accelerators similar to those mighty machines within the Large Hadron Collider. Electromagnets skillfully accelerate particles to staggering velocities, then deftly recycle them through the engine, ready to be propelled once more, a revolutionary leap toward the stars. The journey to unlock the full potential of the helical engine is an electrifying odyssey poised to reshape our cosmic horizons. Harold Sonny White's Warp Drive Harold Sonny White, a NASA engineer, has set his sights on breaking the cosmic speed barrier, claiming to have uncovered a path to travel faster than light. His inspiration draws from science fiction, notably Star Trek, but the foundation of his idea rests firmly on the bedrock of physics. White's warp drive concept centers on a blend of two crucial elements. First, an exotic form of matter, thus far unseen in experiments, plays a pivotal role. Second, he harnesses a quantum effect, albeit one typically too minuscule to function within a spacecraft-sized device. Imagine a warp drive design that creates a warped space-time bubble, a bubble that surges faster than the speed of light. To grasp this, Envision a moving sidewalk at an airport, whisking you along quicker than your stride. 
However, your leg muscles still control your pace while on the rubbery surface. In this scenario, the moving sidewalk represents the space-time bubble, hurtling at superluminal speeds, while the objects inside it dutifully adhere to the cosmic speed limit. The second theory, hinging on the Casimir effect, delves into the strange world of quantum physics. Imagine placing two metal plates in a vacuum. The space between them is far from quiet. It's teeming with quantum fluctuations, creating a peculiar attraction between the plates. This attractive force, as calculated in specific scenarios, hints at the existence of negative energy within that space. However, this negative energy, though intriguing, is incredibly minuscule when you consider the overall size of the apparatus needed for space travel. Imagine creating a warp bubble of spaceship dimensions using the Casimir effect, you'd need an energy equivalent to transforming Jupiter's mass into pure energy. Harold White's research is a realm of secrets, largely unpublished and shielded by non-disclosure agreements. It propels us into the unknown, pushing the boundaries of physics to explore the seemingly impossible. This study probes the tantalizing possibility of breaking the speed of light barrier by warping the very fabric of space-time. Laws of Physics Newton's laws of motion, the bedrock of classical physics, stipulates that for every action there must be an equal and opposite reaction. This fundamental principle springs to life in an illustrative experiment, a spring enclosed within a box. When you compress the spring, the box moves in the opposite direction. As the spring reaches the box's end, it bounces back, altering the box's recoil direction and creating a continuous loop. If the mass inside the box increases in one direction, it intensifies the push in that same direction, yielding greater thrust. Einstein's special theory of relativity comes into play as particles approach the speed of light. As velocity escalates, so does mass. Transposing this concept to propulsion, envision substituting ions for the weight and replacing the box with a loop. Theoretically, you could manipulate ions to move faster at one end of the loop and slower at the other, generating thrust. However, practicality presents hurdles. This engine would demand colossal proportions of 200 meters in length, with a diameter of 12 meters, and guzzle a staggering 165 megawatts of power to produce a mere one newton of thrust. Its potential for meaningful acceleration is reserved for the frictionless expanse of space. However, not all researchers embrace the EM drive, an engine driven by electromagnetic forces within a confined space, bouncing microwaves to generate thrust. This concept challenges conventional propulsion systems, potentially operating without the need for propellant, a departure from established physics. Martin Tajma, a researcher at Dresden University of Technology in Germany, conducted tests on the EM drive. He holds reservations, suggesting it may encounter issues similar to other inertial propulsion systems, particularly in a friction-ridden environment. He points to the reliance on special relativity within the EM drive, adding complexity to its comprehension. Even if an aircraft capable of light-speed travel were developed, formidable challenges persist. Traveling at light speed induces time dilation, a principle rooted in Einstein's theories. As an object accelerates toward light speed, time seemingly decelerates for an external observer. This phenomenon poses a significant conundrum for space travelers. On board a light speed craft, time would appear to pass much more slowly than on Earth, potentially causing issues like differential aging. This perplexing notion found its way into popular culture, notably the film Interstellar, where it grapples with the implications of time dilation during interstellar travel. The Alcubierre Air Drive The Alcubierre Drive, a concept named after physicist Miguel Alcubierre, is a fascinating frontier in the pursuit of faster-than-light travel. Rooted in Einstein's general relativity, this theoretical propulsion system challenges the universal speed limit imposed by the speed of light. At its core, the Alcubierre Drive envisions the creation of a space-time bubble enveloping a spacecraft. This idea exploits the pliable nature of space-time, a concept grounded in Einstein's field equations. The drive functions by manipulating space-time, expanding it behind the craft while compressing it in front. This dynamic forms a sort of cosmic wave, akin to an interstellar surfboard. 
The spacecraft, riding this wave, can traverse the cosmos at speeds exceeding that of light, without breaching the cosmic speed limit or defying the laws of physics. The Alcubierre Drive, a theoretical marvel, promises a journey beyond the cosmic speed limit, enabling faster-than-light travel. Crucially for those aboard the spacecraft, this voyage occurs seemingly instantaneously or in a remarkably brief span, sidestepping the ill effects of time dilation and extreme acceleration. However, realizing this vision faces formidable challenges. The theoretical underpinning of the Alcubierre drive demands a peculiar entity, negative energy or exotic matter. This exotic matter, which defies conventional norms and possesses properties like negative mass, raises concerns about its compatibility with established laws of physics. Moreover, even if exotic matter exists, the colossal energy needed to manipulate spacetime as proposed by the Alcubierre drive is staggering, similar to converting an entire planet's or star's mass into energy. Recent studies unveil potential stumbling blocks, including high energy particle accumulation at the bubble's front, and the inability to control or steer the drive once activated. The hypothetical functioning of the Alcubierre drive could also lead to paradoxes in time travel, challenging our understanding of reality. Yet, while the Alcubierre drive remains a theoretical construct devoid of experimental evidence or a tangible blueprint, its very inception has sparked substantial interest within the scientific community. This concept motivates ongoing research in realms such as general relativity, quantum field theory, and the elusive exotic matter. Though the practical realization of a warp drive may be distant, the quest to fathom its mysteries is a journey that enriches our comprehension of the cosmos, continually propelling us toward the forefront of knowledge and discovery. Tachyon's hypothetical faster-than-light particles. In addition, Tachyons, though confined to the realm of theoretical physics, beckon our imagination with the allure of faster-than-light travel. The name tachyon draws from the Greek word tachys, meaning swift, aptly capturing the essence of these elusive particles. These hypothetical entities emerge from the bedrock of special relativity and quantum field theory, displaying a stark departure from the behavior of familiar particles termed bradyons. While Bradians need infinite energy to reach light speed, tachyons, in theory, demand infinite energy to decelerate to the speed of light. This peculiar trait arises from their imaginary mass, or more precisely, negative mass squared. This inversion of properties defies conventional physics. Tachyons dance to a different cosmic tune. When they shed energy, they accelerate. And conversely, gaining energy causes them to slow down. Perhaps most perplexingly, from our vantage point, tachyons traverse time in reverse. This unique interplay of properties challenges our understanding of reality. Tachyons, while captivating, introduce a fabric of complexities and paradoxes into the fabric of physics. The most formidable challenge posed by tachyons lies in their potential to undermine causality, the fundamental concept that actions have consequences. If tachyons could transmit information faster than light, they might unravel the sequence of cause and effect, leading to situations where effects precede their causes, birthing perplexing tachyonic anti-telephone paradoxes. Crucially, despite decades of scientific quest, tangible proof of tachyons remains elusive. Some phenomena initially attributed to these swift particles, such as the seemingly faster-than-light neutrinos observed in the OPERA experiment, were later debunked due to experimental errors. This absence of empirical evidence has led many physicists to view tachyons in theoretical frameworks as indicators of instability within those theories. In the realm of quantum field theory, the mere presence of tachyons predicts a shift towards a different stable state devoid of these enigmatic particles. Consequently, tachyons inhabit the land of speculation, a tantalizing mystery yet to be unlocked. The prevailing consensus among physicists asserts that, given our current understanding of the laws of physics, superluminal particles like tachyons are improbable. However, should future research chart an alternative course, it would necessitate profound revisions to the bedrock principles governing our universe, reshaping the very foundations of physics. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The news hit the world like a meteorite impact. NASA just admitted they've created something so advanced it can reach light speed. The revelation left humanity in awe, igniting imaginations like never before. In the heart of Kennedy Space Center, 
Engineers toiled in secrecy for years. The culmination of their efforts was unveiled. The Stardust II, a spaceship that could transcend the boundaries of physics. It harnessed the power of an exotic matter, Eonite, to bend space and time. Astronaut Alex Mercer was chosen to pilot this groundbreaking vessel. He embarked on the inaugural voyage, hurtling towards the unknown. Stardust II's hull shimmered with otherworldly energy as it breached the light barrier, propelling Alex into uncharted realms. As he journeyed through the cosmos, the universe transformed around him. Stars streaked past like fireflies, galaxies merged and split in a kaleidoscopic dance. Time itself seemed to lose meaning. The unimaginable speed became his reality, and the cosmos his playground. Back on Earth, scientists marveled at the data streaming from the ship. Stardust II's success promised interstellar exploration, the cure for diseases, and clean energy for all. Humanity stood at the precipice of an age where dreams become tangible. Alex Mercer's return was met with thunderous applause. He had become a legend, the explorer of light speed, and his odyssey opened the door to a future where the stars were within reach. The headline echoed across the world, reminding all that, with innovation and determination, humanity could achieve the impossible. But in reality, do you think humanity can achieve this light speed spacecraft? Please share your thoughts on this matter in the comments below. Exotic matter, the key to propulsion beyond light speed. Meanwhile, exotic matter, a term that encompasses various forms of matter defying our everyday understanding, plays a pivotal role in theories exploring faster than light travel. The word exotic here doesn't specify a particular type of matter, but rather refers to any kind of matter displaying properties not found in the ordinary stuff we encounter daily. In the realm of faster-than-light travel, a recurring theme emerges. The necessity for exotic matter to outmaneuver the universal speed limit imposed by light. This exotic matter often exhibits peculiar traits like negative mass or negative energy density. And these characteristics frequently pop up in the equations of general relativity. Two notable examples illustrate the potential applications of exotic matter. In the theoretical framework of the Alcubierre drive, a space-time bubble sustained by exotic matter enables a spacecraft to ride a wave of space-time, effectively achieving faster-than-light motion. Similarly, in the context of traversable wormholes, exotic matter is indispensable to counteract the innate tendency of these cosmic tunnels to collapse, allowing them to potentially serve as cosmic shortcuts. While the mathematical feasibility of exotic matter is established, its physical existence and precise properties remain subjects of intense debate among scientists. This enigmatic substance challenges our understanding of the universe, embodying the intriguing possibilities and mysteries at the forefront of theoretical physics. As of today, we have yet to find solid experimental proof confirming the existence of exotic matter. Moreover, the potential implications of exotic matter's existence pose intriguing yet perplexing questions for theoretical physics. It may breach established energy conditions, giving rise to paradoxical scenarios like time travel and perpetual motion machines. Even if the exotic matter does exist, harnessing and manipulating it on the scale and precision needed for faster-than-light propulsion is a colossal technological hurdle, surpassing our current capabilities. Despite these formidable challenges, delving into the realm of exotic matter provides an invaluable avenue to expand our knowledge. Its study holds the promise of not only potential breakthroughs in propulsion technology, but also deep insights into the fundamental nature of the universe. It could help us unify the fundamental forces governing the cosmos and grasp the intricate interplay between quantum mechanics and general relativity, unlocking secrets that have eluded us thus far. The Cosmic Exploration with Future Spacecraft Traveling at the speed of light poses a perplexing predicament, the impossibility of detecting obstacles. Zooming through space at such an astonishing pace would render it impossible to identify planets, stars, or other celestial bodies along the way. The peril of catastrophic collisions emerges, painting a precarious picture of interstellar travel. Beyond this, the spacecraft hurtling at light speed would wreak havoc on its environment. The energy needed to propel it to such velocities could severely disrupt the very fabric of space and time, creating ripples felt across the vast expanse of the universe. 
Crucially, this breakneck speed would exact a human toll. The forces involved in such travel could inflict severe injury or even death upon astronauts, exposing the limits of the human body in the face of extreme velocity. Yet, amidst these challenges, if recent breakthroughs bear fruit and vehicles capable of light-speed travel become a reality, it would revolutionize scientific exploration. Astronauts equipped to traverse the cosmos at light speed could delve into distant galaxies, unraveling the mysteries of celestial bodies' formation and evolution. The enigmatic realm of black holes would become a subject of intense research, ushering humanity into an era of unprecedented cosmic comprehension and discovery. Black holes, enigmatic regions of space where gravity is so relentless that even light gets trapped, hold mysteries that beckon closer examination. A spacecraft capable of light-speed travel would enable scientists to embark on an unprecedented voyage into these cosmic whirlpools. Up close, we could demystify the secrets shrouding these celestial enigmas. In the vast cosmos, dark matter and dark energy, which form the majority of the universe, remain elusive puzzles. Yet a light-speed vessel would allow scientists to scrutinize these enigmatic forces with unparalleled precision, unlocking their secrets. Einstein's theory of special relativity introduces another tantalizing prospect. As an object accelerates toward light speed, time slows down relative to an observer at rest. A craft zipping at light speed might enable time travel, potentially unveiling the mysteries of temporal manipulation. Perhaps the most profound journey lies in exploring the universe's origin. A light-speed vessel could propel scientists back to the birth of the cosmos, where they could witness the primordial explosion of the Big Bang and the very genesis of our existence. The quest for these cosmic revelations, enabled by the ability to travel at light speed, holds the promise of answering the fundamental questions that have long tantalized humanity. However, in the face of doubters and potential obstacles, David Burns remains undaunted in his belief in the potential of the EM drive. He acknowledges the skepticism, but proposes innovative approaches to address concerns about energy loss and momentum conservation. One such approach involves harnessing the rotational energy of propelled ions, effectively capturing what might otherwise be lost as heat or radiation. Burns advocates for an open-minded approach stressing the necessity of embracing new, potentially groundbreaking ideas. He understands that innovation often risks skepticism, but history has shown that progress emerges from the willingness to challenge the perceived limits of what's possible. While the science behind the EM drive is still under scrutiny, aerospace technology is a realm of perpetual advancement. It's crucial to remember that what seemed impossible in the past, like the development of airplanes, is now a cornerstone of modern life. Burns underlines this historical progression, highlighting how humanity's once unimaginable achievements are now commonplace. Considering this trajectory of human ingenuity and the relentless evolution of science and technology, the notion of an aircraft traveling at light speed is not out of reach. As we stand on the cusp of potential breakthroughs, the vision of a spacecraft surpassing the cosmic speed limit may very well transition from speculation to reality in the foreseeable future. Do you think NASA could advance enough to build spacecraft that can reach light speed? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.